So I was gonna name this video, I something like I made two videos and they both sucked or whatever, but Jenna Marbles already made that, or she already titled one of her videos that, and I didn't wanna feel like I was copying, even though that's exactly what happened. I filmed two videos and I didn't like either one of them. Uh, one of them was okay, but like, it just wasn't that funny to me, and it was supposed to be funny. If it wasn't supposed to be funny, then whatever. But it wasn't that funny to me. Like, I laughed occasionally. But then I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to edit the mess out of this for it to even be watchable to me. Maybe other people would've thought it was funny, but if I don't think it's funny, I just don't feel like I should even upload it or even like try to edit it because I started editing it but then it just sucked and the other one <clears throat> excuse me I like filmed like half of it and then I was just like man this is not fun and I don't want to be trying to force myself to film videos that I don't even like or that are not even enjoyable for me to even film like so why would I even I, if I don't feel like filming it, I won't feel like editing it, and then I won't feel like uploading it, and it, it, I'll just be sitting there looking at it like, oh, this is terrible. And if people don't watch it, then I'll be like, rightfully so, because it's terrible, but then most of the time those are the videos that people watch the most, the ones that I don't like as much. Like, I like all of the videos that I've been putting up, <clears throat> but like the ones that I like the most, people don't even watch. But like, no, nobody really watches my videos anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does. Anyway, so that's why I haven't uploaded a video in two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks now. I've just been not feeling it. Like, Especially since I can't really um, make the videos that I want to make. Like I can make, I can make some of them, but not really the ones, I don't know, that I want to make the most. Are the ones that I've been wanting to make because either I need another person to help me film them or I need just a new computer and, or a new laptop in general to even be able to uh, record it. So, that's that on that, but yeah. Other than that, I've been okay, I guess. I've been trying to think of different ideas for videos that I could do, and I thought of a lot of ideas, and then a lot of those, after I write them down, I realized that, huh, I need a new laptop to do that, or, well, I need another person to do that. Also, why I haven't been really super motivated to do videos is because I'm just so tired. I don't, it's like I don't have the energy most days because I have to go to work and it wouldn't even be that bad, but I'm like standing on my feet for eight hours a day and the schedule is sporadic. So like, I kind of like that, but then I kind of don't. Cause I never know when I'm gonna work, especially when she don't want to put the schedule up. So I'm like physically drained from that, plus having to walk to work and then walk back home sometimes. And then also the fact that I'm just mentally drained sometimes because I, I have, like I said before, really, really bad anxiety and social anxiety in general. I mean, what, more specifically? Yes, that's what I meant. <laughs> so, having to deal with people all day long, it just drains me so much. And then, not that I'm complaining right now, I'm just, you know, talking. Because like, I can do that, right? But no, because, what the heck is it? Oh, anyway, <laughs> I didn't know what that was. I wasn't talking to you, Google. Yeah. What, what you talking about? Yeah, I said, uh, shut up. Anyway, almost as bad as Siri, the freak. What was I even talking about? 
Oh, I'm just tired and I haven't been making videos, but and then also mentally like I'm I'm trying not to worry so much about things, you know, like bills and such, all this grown up stuff. And then I keep telling myself, oh, I'm not worried about it. You know, everything's gonna work out. Just, you know, cause I always try to tell myself, if you're gonna worry, don't pray. If you're gonna pray, don't worry. And I do pray all the time. So then I try to tell myself, well, you can't be worrying about stuff that you already prayed about because it's gonna work itself out, you know? <laughs> oh, I just get out of breath so fast. But yeah. So I, I, I try not to worry about it. But then I go to work and my stupid manager is like threatening me every other day it seemed like that I'm gonna lose my job for any reason. I only missed one day. I only missed one, yeah, one day. And immediately he's like, ah, oh, just, just trying to see if I need to find somebody else for one day, but every time I'm off work, y'all calling me, tell me, can I come in because so-and-so can't come into work today or whoever didn't show up to work. And it'd be the same people, so, so they just get to get away with it just because they've been working there longer. And then, because I'm, I'm sick or I'm not feeling good, Oh, you need to you need to get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of myself so I can control when I'm when I get sick or or how I feel. Like if I'm sick, I could just control that. Like so like I just I just can't keep nobody. This is why cuz everybody to keep acting like this is this job is just so hard. What the freak are you talking about? Like, it don't look good when you trying to take off work and blah, blah, blah. Like I can, again, like I can control when I get sick and how I feel. Like, and then telling me, well, so-and-so was like that too, but they came to work. You don't know how I was because if I would have went to work that day, mind you, this was only one time, but why she keep bringing it up? Why? But yeah, like I, I'm, if I would have went to work, I wouldn't have been able to work. If I said that I'm in the bathroom, TMI, I guess. But if I say I'm in the bathroom the whole day, or it, it was like, well, no, I had to work that morning, so I had been in the bathroom all morning since like three something in the, in the morning. I had to be at work at seven. So, where was I going with that? <laughs> if I would've went to work, is what, what I'm saying. If I would've went to work, I would've just been in the bathroom the whole time. Or, and if I was able to come out of the bathroom every few minutes, I would've been able to maybe like ring up one person and then I would've just been like, like, just, I wouldn't have been any good that, to anybody else because there's only two people working at a time most times. So, it, and most of the time that other person is like another manager and they hardly ever get on the register. Or they try not to, not even, not all of them, but some of them try their best not to get on the register. Even if it's a line in the store, they try their best not to get on the register. And if they do have to get on the register, they're mad at me or irritated with me that I'm going too slow. And, and they had to get on and help me. I'm like, what the freak? This is your job. You, you, you don't just get to sit there on the computer or like, okay, I got stuff to stock in the back. So you gotta, you gotta try to do, you gotta try to go faster. I got stuff to stock in the front. Like you, you put a whole bunch of stuff up here for me to stock in the front. I can't even get to it because I'm on the register, which I thought was my first priority anyway. Why don't y'all have a specific person to stock the shelves? Anyway, that's not even the point. The point being that I wouldn't have been able to work because I just would have been in the bathroom. And she just keep bringing it up and then keep bringing up 
certain just whenever I do something wrong like oh you know we supposed to blah 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 like we supposed to be doing if it, it's, it's getting on my nerves or I'm frustrated because I feel like I'm doing all this by myself or I'm the only one that's contributing to certain whatever's like we have contests between stores like you have to sell you have to sell so many of whatever thing like last week we we're doing the Kit Kats and whatever and it was like whatever store sells uh, more of those gets or wins the contest and everybody in the store get like I guess a hundred dollars each or something like that I didn't know about any of this because nobody tells me anything and then she just expected me to just already know why haven't you been um how many of these or just all of a sudden just how many how many of those have you sold I don't know, like, it's been a few people been buying some. You gotta ask them. I'm just like, why? why? I don't like selling stuff, first of all. This is why I don't work in retail, like, clothing stores, or this is why I hated working in the, the shoe store in the first place, because we had to, like, upsell people, and I hate doing that. Freaking hate it. Like, people gonna buy what they're gonna buy. <laughs> stop, stop trying to force them to buy other stuff. I don't like that. So just you're like, this is a competition, blah, 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 blah. I know it said contest on the paper thing beside the candy, but I was like, what is the contest? And they didn't tell me nothing about it. And I wasn't gonna ask because I don't freaking care. I'm just there to do my job. I don't I don't care about extra stuff. I'm like, if they want me to know something, they'll just tell me. No, she asking me how many I've sold. I'm like, I don't know, a few, I guess some people buy it. You gotta tell them about it because it's a contest and blah, 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 we trying to win. I mean, I'm sure that everybody would could could do with an extra hundred or two hundred dollars on their check. I'm like, yeah, sure, but like, what the freak? I mean, I didn't even know about it. Why is you irritated? Because I haven't been trying to sell the candy. Like, you gotta ask every person. Like, I'm trying to win, and uh, and it's only me and another person that's been doing it. Everybody in the store gets some, so that's not really fair. And then we doing all the work and blah. blah. I'm like. What? 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 <laughs> so irritated me, my nose bitch. It's just like everything I do. It's just, it's she irritated me. Then she keep bringing up like, that, that she probably gonna hire more people because this just not working out. And I'm just like, what's not working out? What are you talking about? Like, not even talking to me. She talked to herself a lot of times, but she talked out loud. So I don't know if she, I don't really necessarily know if she want me to hear or she just talk out loud and she just don't give a freak if I hear her or not or whatever. But I mean, it's just really irritating because is that ambulance over there again? It's like been an ambulance and a fire truck over there like every Stop calling me. Every other night or I don't know, it's been, it was like, it was like three times last week and then two two or three times, I can't remember. And then earlier this week, they were there again, but it was just the fire truck that time. And I don't know what they keep checking, maybe the alarm, keep the, the fire alarm keep going off or, or I don't know if somebody even lives in that apartment. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that's weird. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't know. She just, I, it's really hard for me to not say anything because I really be wanting to say something. Every time she say something stupid like that or try to be smart, or try to be passive aggressive, I just really be wanting to say something. But then I'm like, I don't really want to lose my job. You know, I'm trying to hold out into the Lord. Give me what I've been praying for. When I first started working there, she, I don't know if she was trying to get me to quit or trying to see if I would quit or trying to see what I was going to do. Maybe she was amused. Maybe she was like, ooh, let's see what's going to happen. Young girl, let's see how she's going to respond to this information. She's just going to tell me, like, on my first day, she's going to tell me, well, you know, this store gets robbed. You know, it's gotten robbed a few times before. So you got to be careful, especially at nighttime. You never know. So it could get robbed again. Why, why are you telling me all of this? It's 
if I wasn't really needing a job right then, then I probably would have been like, mm, maybe not. Like, if I wasn't really needing a job right then, I wouldn't have even went over there to, to try to ask for one. But, like, I was like, when I got the job, I was like, well, it's the one the Lord gave me, so... I can't be trying to be too picky. I can't be leaving them and like, well, Lord, I don't want that one. I was like, I'm just gonna take it and work here for as long as possible. You know, I don't really know how much longer I can stay here. I, I don't feel like I need to leave right now. I feel like it, it's okay. And I'm okay with it. Um, because, I mean, any 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 type of job like this it's gonna mess with my anxiety and I just I work there for as long as I can and then I'm just when it when it gets to the point where I just can't handle it anymore then I just quit and find another job because the ch the change of scenery it, it helps my anxiety but then it hurts it at the same time and I just traditional I guess traditional type work is not for me, it's really, it's really hard for me to keep a job. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, but I'm being serious. It really is. But yeah, I mean, I'm making it. I'm doing okay. I'm just not really okay with being by myself, I guess. I mean, I like it. But at the same time, I don't. I would really much rather be in a situation where I could see my family and be with them whenever I need to because right now, it's, it's really taking a toll. Myth on my mental health because, and I, it's not like I could just talk to them whenever. Like, everybody's so busy. I'm busy too because I work all the time except for today I wasn't. At work, so I'm not really busy except for. Nope, not really busy. I do need to clean up though, but you know, don't want to do that. But anyway, uh, I I don't know if there was a point to this video. I think I was really just saying why I what's the, what's been going on and why I haven't uploaded a video. Ouch! <coughs> and I just washed my hair yesterday, so that's why it looks like this. And. I haven't combed it. Oh shoot. It's in my mouth. So yeah, I mean that's that's all I really have to say. I'm um, trying to think, was there anything else that I wanted to say? So I <laughs> also I keep hearing noises at nighttime and it'd be kinda scary, but then I kinda you know, I try to think is it, you know, it's possibly coming from upstairs out because it probably is because I know I be hearing a lot of noises from up there all the time because this lady got a dog and at first I thought she had a big old dog because of how loud it be. Like every time she come home, the dog just start running all over the ground, <laughs> running all over the floor and stuff. And I thought she had a freaking big old like I don't know like a lab or something. And then um, I think it was. It was a few days ago. I saw her um, come down because I heard her coming down. I was like, let me see what this dog look like. Because it's not like a really big dog. But then I saw her walking with the dog and it was a little wiener dog. Like not super tiny, but like it was not huge. But I guess he must be like dense or something. Cause, or maybe this, or maybe these just some really poorly made apartments and it's just I don't know not good insulation or something I got another I was about to say something but I got another story for y'all too about my freaking neighbors and I, I don't want him to hear me because he's outside right now and I can hear them outside so I don't know if they can hear me in here I don't think so because um I don't think so, but like, I got a story to tell y'all about about them. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. I can love you like forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My love is on for ego. Yeah, yeah. I'm a young one in a numb shin. It's an undrag.
Cause I don't